expert talk on covid-19 precaution for children and adolescents uh, first of all i would like to apologize for our 5 to 10 minutes delay uh, there was some technical blunder and thank you so much for the patience and i would like to welcome you all please everybody join in uh, today we are here along with the school of kalambole st joseph's high school and junior junior college i welcome all the attendees and also the Miss, Mrs. Ranjana Shafale, principal of Saint Joseph High School, and the, all the teachers, staff, and the students and parents who are joining us right now, welcome everyone. We hope and wish that every one of you are safe amidst the pandemic. And attendees, Bayer Pharma uh, is the company who is always thinking hard to make the healthcare simple. We are very happy to serve India's children with Kidicare Plus syrup, Colicate syrup, Ultra D3 syrup with all the essential multinutrient to support the healthcare of children. Today, Mayor is extremely honored to bring an eminent speaker, Dr. Mubashir Khan. Welcome, Dr. Mubashir Khan. And uh, today, right now, he'll be talking about uh, all your concerns and all the consent. And over to you, Doctor. Not wasting much of time. okay uh, i think yes Hello. yes doctor yeah all the attendees anybody have any questions uh, during the session please put it in the chat box uh, i'll just put a hi have you we have put a hi over there anybody will have any question please put your uh, suggestion question feedback in the last in the end after the doctor session we'll have a conversation on the same so to you doctor okay good evening all uh, my name is dr mubashir khan i have been working as a consultant pediatrician and a neonatologist at uh, motherhood hospital and today we'll be talking something about precautions in children and adolescent that we need to take in regards to few of the topics those includes first the overview of the coronavirus secondly what precautions you need to take third the role of the vaccination fourth nutrition during the vaccination uh, during this uh, pandemic period and mental and physical health which we emphasize more on so initially uh, what the data we had we had from chinese and uh, from the american studies which said the senile population is age group more than 50 years were more affected but as we have now gained the data from icmr we have seen that in india there is a totally different pattern that the coronavirus follows usually the age group 20 to 60 is affected drastically because these are the working class of people and our socio economic status is totally different from that of the uh, foreign countries so this age group usually are affected more what are the manifestation of coronavirus infection in children firstly i'll tell you uh, children of all age group are susceptible to covid-19 infection uh, both genders are equally affected may it be a male child or a female child the median age is about 7 years uh, infants less than 1 year are more, more vulnerable as their immunity is already on a lower side now the mode of transmission is from one person to person how will a child acquire an infection child will definitely uh, acquire this infection from his parents or from uh, the, someone who walks into their house uh, clinically child in children they have usually three presentation and overall it is same for the adults also but in children there is some uh, some difference than the adult if you see the mild cases of the children may present with upper respiratory tract infection that includes runny nose then they might have some cough and fever these these are the mild presentation and uh, if you see throughout the year child your child must be having some amount of runny nose some amount of cough and that is normal for them now in moderate symptoms these symptoms is exaggerate to fever cough breathlessness now the breathlessness is the most important thing uh, that we have to note here because if the sense, uh, uh, if your child is having fever it doesn't really mean it is covid but breathlessness definitely it points toward something that the infection has progressed may it be your viral infection or may it be uh, any of your uh, bacterial infection definitely the, there is increase in the seriousness that's why it has resulted in breathlessness 
Now, many of the children who have been tested positive for the COVID PCR are asymptomatic. They have absolutely no symptoms. Maybe sometimes they might show uh, some fever or just mild runny nose. Uh, majority of the children of uh, they lie in the category either asymptomatic, uh, mild, or moderate. Severe presentations uh, are also there. In this severe presentation, child may present with respiratory and gastrointestinal symptoms. Now, respiratory symptom means the severest form being acute respiratory distress, in which the lungs are severely. Uh, Swell, swollen up. There is absolutely no place for the air to go inside. So they become more uh, breathless. There is an air hunger. Similarly, gastrointestinal symptoms may range from loose motions uh, to having uh, severe dehydration. Other symptom, uh, other parts of the body like circulatory system is uh, can be collapsed to, in a form of shock. They might have encephalitis, means infection of the brain. There could be cardiac failure, myocardial infarction, and acute kidney, kidney injury too. Now, COVID is known to be as a co-infection with normal flu, which is your influenza, which uh, usually every child has influenza throughout the uh, growing years. Now, the mortality is very low in the children. One should, identify, one should know that, that the only 10% of the children progresses to uh, the most severe form uh, of uh, COVID infection. Otherwise, almost 90% uh, of them, means it is 89.4% of them are asymptomatic, mild or moderate. They do not progress to severe. Now, usually transmission, we all know the, it is the, basically COVID is a virus from the animal side from the bat, which has incubation period of 5.2. Usually people uh, spread this by a droplet infection. Like if someone sneezes in front of you or in, uh, in near captivity of yours, then you might acquire this infection. Otherwise, the surfaces uh, where, like if you're working in an office, the surfaces which are commonly shared, like the common table, the computer, that might also act as a fomite. It is termed as a fomite from which the infection can be transmitted. Usually symptoms in adults also and in child also is tiredness, fatigue, fever, breathlessness, and dry cough. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, sorry. So now, uh, usually, if you see this chart, many of them present with fever, dry cough, fatigue. These are the three more important symptoms of your mild to moderate presentation. Gradually, some may have shortness of breath, then they might have body pain, myalgia is body pain, sore throat, they might have headache, they might present with chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and some may have redness of eye, which is uh, seen in very few of the people. Now, something that we need to know, uh, what this is about perinatal infection means if a woman is pregnant and uh, she is born to, uh, she has given now birth to a child, what are the risk of transmission? There is a high risk of preterm birth that the child might be born preterm in seven months or eight months because of the COVID-19 infection in mother. Uh, then also the vertical transmission is unknown. Vertical transmission means from mother to the baby through the umbilical cord transmission is not yet been documented. Some says it can be transmitted. Some says it is not transmitted. Uh, if your child is born, newborn, and mother is having COVID-19 infection and the child acquired it from the mother or some of the relative and child goes sick, the prognosis is good. These children usually come out really well. They... Uh, because they might require some amount of ventilatory support, some medications, but they come out really well as compared to the adults, which is difficult for the adults to come through. Now, breastfeeding is always encouraged, even if the mother is suffering from uh, COVID-19 infection. The only thing is, uh, if uh, possible, mother should be wearing a mask and feeding the child. So no direct blast of air from the mother goes to the baby. Also, she should sanitize her hand before handling the baby. And some healthy volunteer, maybe a mother, uh, mother's mother or any of the relatives can take care of the child and other needs after that time. 
do uh, covid 19 spread through milk no data is still uh, unknown but what we have experienced and what we have seen covid 19 is not transmitted through milk if it is clean catch then it is not transmitted through milk now many people ask me why children have milder disease as compared to that of adult the reason is not clear yet there has been many hypotheses those have been put, put forward but if you see there is a difference in the immune system of adult and that of a children if you see uh, because of these differences uh, immaturity of the immune system the response varies there is a qualitative difference in the response to covid 19 some people say that the presence of the simultaneous virus see uh, in children usually every two month three monthly they have a flu infection that means there is already a virus which is inhibiting your nasal tract your mouth and your airway so when covid 19 infection come in uh, in your mucosa these viruses they combat with the covid 19 for the space so there is a fight between the flu virus and the covid virus to occupy this territory and that is a reason that covid 19 do not get much of a chance to spread to the children that is one of the hypothesis um but if your child is having coronavirus infection then definitely he might transmit that to an adult because in adult usually they do not have such kind of infections so now what precaution we'll start by age wise means child newborn child then children less than 6 months of age more than 6 months of age and then gradually toward the adolescent phase so immediately after the delivery when the baby is born a uh, baby's room should be isolated and mother should be isolated if both are sterile both are negative then they should be isolated only few people will be walking in and out of the baby before touching the baby the same every one of you are now thorough with the uh, protocols like washing your hand with soap for 20 minutes 20 seconds followed by using a alcohol based sanitizer before touching any of the surfaces so the same things we have to follow there is nothing new that we are going to do if some third person is coming they should be protecting uh keeping the mask because they should not be transmitting uh, it to the mother and the child because already their immunity is on a lower side similarly uh the surfaces of the mobile phones or uh if mother is using a mobile phone and the uh, this should be changed once the baby is discharged and mother and child is at home there also they should be isolated in a separate room there very few uh, relative now with because of lockdown there are no many relatives coming uh, to the house that is one benefit but in this closed environment also there should be a fresh air that should be circulated inside the room room should not be keen, uh, kept much damp or moist or humid otherwise the these droplets usually settle on the surface which might where might this uh, where this infection not only covid 19 but any other infection may deposit so disinfection with the sunlight whenever you get a sunlight open a window that will uh, refresh the air in the room and also uh, disinfect uh, naturally using the mm-hmm. sunlight you need to wash the baby's clothes separately and not in the common lot which we you uh, which you do for the other house members now what precaution you need to take in children less than 6 months less than 6 months child do not go anywhere do not crawl they are in a limited space whether on the bed or on the floor but they still have tendency to put everything in mouth if you give them your hand they'll suck onto your hand they'll suck onto your collar so they have a tendency to put everything into the mouth so you have to maintain cleanliness usually you have to change the bed sheet frequently every two, second day or third day you should be changing your bed sheet the floor where the child may be playing that floor need to be disinfected Uh, similarly these toys need to be cleaned every two or third day with the soap and water at least now what precaution in children less than 2 years of age less than 2 years of age is a very difficult age to manage because these children are very notorious they just uh, want to seek your attention may it be uh, any elder or other siblings but they are very much curious to know your things to understand you so first thing you have to limit their interaction with other kids that we actually are doing with this lockdown thing but more frequently used items like remote mobile phone toys ball baby chair uh, should be disinfected every second or third week uh, three, two or three times in a week basically 
you have to train them to wash their hands before activity and they are very good learners so you can uh, inculcate this habit of washing hands and appreciating you should encourage them that they have done a very good job by washing their hands now uh, encourage them into some picture book uh, stories recite them stories but limit their screen time many a times now all the parents we are working so we are just handing over handing them over our mobile phone so that they are kept involved in that mobile phone and you can uh, finish your daily chores but uh, still it is not encouraged not more than 1 to 2 hours in a day and that to not a, at a stretch 1 hour is sufficient now what precaution to be taken in children more than 2 years of age many people ask me this question my child is now 1 one, one and a half year of age should i put them mask on their face uh, when i take them to the uh, so in down at the society's uh, playground or somewhere no absolutely no any child less than 2 years of age please do not put any kind of mask may it be the n95 mask or the cloth mask because these masks usually can suffocate the child because their lung power is not uh, that strong their inhalation and exhalations are not that strong so they might suffocate with that they might collapse because of the increasing co2 retention in their body so any child more than 2 years of age definitely you can put mask but less than that no need also the surface and the entry is too tiny for anything to go inside so absolutely no no and no for the mask children less than 2 years of age the first thing you have to limit their outside outside the house visits secondly children more than 2 years of age should be wearing the mask hand hygiene and social distancing should be implemented in these children children usually get bored uh, during this lockdown as they are trapped in the home they do not have anything to do there is no play school there is no group there is no activity so you can sometime occasionally arrange a video conferencing with the friends or a relative allow you can also allow them to have a, a play the games online uh, and also the friends uh, with some limit it should not be like continuously for 2 hours 3 hours they are online and playing games uh, you can keep them busy by giving them a daily task see reading writing is fine but you can also involve them in some of the hobby kind of thing uh, means you can also make them uh, in, uh, enrich you can help them uh, encourage them for to fulfill their hobby if someone like uh, gardening then you can have a small uh, garden in your balcony or a kitchen garden help them with the gardening new techniques ask them to learn new things uh, and also in our indian society uh, our parents have inculcated us with our domestic habits like uh, we uh, actually um, encourage our child like if we are making chapatis we give them a small piece of flour uh, a dough to play with it or make a chapati so they imitate us so it is like inculcating our uh, Uh, all the what you say the sanskar to the our child so similarly you can involve them in domestic if you are doing any washing of the cloth you can ask them to help with the bucket you can ask them to help with any of the uh, products or detergent or something so that they feel they are doing something and it should be more uh, uh, encouraging to them rather than uh, like abusing them uh, next slide yeah now special children usually uh, the children who are suffering from down syndrome thalassemia cerebral palsy long term illnesses like cancer of bone cancer of blood uh, hiv affected or post surgical who have undergone cardiac or a liver transplant these children are more more and more susceptible to covid infection they might acquire it from their parents they might acquire it from any healthcare worker they might acquire it from their home uh, domestic help so uh, any person who is going close to this children should be following a strict hygiene wearing a mask and before handling them the sanitization is essential you should reduce the exposure uh, to these children uh, they can have their uh, surfaces means if you want they can enjoy their laptop they can enjoy their tv but these surfaces should be thoroughly clean because they are too susceptible for that now some other aspect many people ask me and all the pediatrician are usually uh, now uh, reinforcing many of these things uh, that is first you should stick to the child's vaccination schedule do not miss the vaccination now many people and who uh, 
uh, now has recommended all the bodies like who iip have recommended that all the primary vaccination of the child should be completed boosters can wait you can delay a booster by month two month or six months also but primary vaccination is essential so complete all your primary vaccination if one brand of vaccine is not available definitely you can give another brand of a similar vaccine vaccine with no harm secondly uh, only for the vaccination uh, you can go you can go to a happy clinic go to any of the pediatrician where there are no sick children it should be a happy clinic confirm with the doctor because usually doctors are uh, putting time the sick opd and the happy opd in happy or a vaccination opd all the children who are for the vaccination will be coming uh, preferably avoid going to a multi speciality because that will uh, that will uh, give a more exposure to other age group population which might carry covid 19 secondly you should limit your visit to the hospital because the surfaces and other surface are the more contaminated part so preferably going to a uni speciality rather than going to multi speciality then tele consultation and video consultation services have started now so you can take complete advantage of that many a times few things that doctor because of his expertise can consult on phone he can consult on video consultation like we have we are having a webinar they can consult on a uh, video consultation and they they can help you with those symptoms but if there is emergency if there is a severe thing like severe breathlessness please do not resort to a uh, consultation you have to visit a hospital secondly any of the planned surgeries like circumcision the tongue tie release if any corrective surgery if any cosmetic surgery if any uh, planned surgery should be avoided please do not uh, do any of the planned surgery during the covid 19 exposure period because surgery can expose it actually exposes the surface more to the uh, corona virus acquiring uh, person acquiring the infection so planned surgery should be skipped now uh, everyone of you are thorough because our news channels our youtube our google and everything has already explained this to you there are many things that uh, you people already know which i need not be telling you so we'll do some of those in the question answer thing which you in person have a doubt and need to know so now for a uh, uh, like you can say a mota mota offer ka that is your prevention first you have to wash your hand with uh, soap followed by sanitizer this whole process should be 20 second completely rubbing all the surfaces of your hand it should not be just palms and fingers it should be up to your uh, wrist till this the surfaces should be cleaned secondly you have to avoid contact with any of the sick person avoid touching your face mouth and with the unwashed hands uh, eating raw meat or raw uh, food is not also not advisable because it might not carry corona infection anyhow we we have a very good tradition in our homes that we clean and wash all the vegetables avoid contact with the animal also uh, there is no known uh, transmission through cow or buffalo to the human but there are other infection rather than covid 19 so please avoid during this phase what if you are infected first thing you should stay at home the most important is stop panicking only only and only 30 to 35% may it be adult or pediatric progress to the mild or severe form you can say moderate or severe form rest people if they stay at home they are treated on their own the body produce the immunity and over 14 to 15 days though they are infected they they stay asymptomatic because they do not acquire more of the infection avoid contact with the other if you think you are sick you can isolate yourself from your kids secondly you should cover your mouth and uh, nose or you can put that cloth mask while you are being in home when you think you are sick you can keep the surfaces and object clean please do not let your child have your mobile phone so that the transmission through the mobile phone surface is affected or any of your things secondly you can wear the surgical mask surgical mask is the mask which is three plated mask 
so you can wear that or even a cloth cloth mask is sufficient for direct transmission now infection control this uh, these things are both for the school people and also for the healthcare people first thing educating the staff see we as a teacher we as a doctor we consider ourselves as a grade one people then there come a grade two people who are like more of a uh, office staff and thirdly there comes a people who is housekeeping staff so from all the levels uh, the education should be provided at each of the level it is not that the only the doctors or only the nurses should be knowing it it's the housekeeping people because they are the people who are more exposed maybe in the hospital maybe in the school premises your mama maushi or your domestic help these people are less educated they are less exposed to the knowledge but they are the person who are most exposed to all the contaminated surfaces so first thing staff education you have to look for the uh, signs in the person if he is sick or not then training the staff uh, if school premises if uh, once the school start there should be a proper uh, use of ppe kit so that the person should not be transmitting it to the children then restricted policy of the patient and as i said telemedication is now uh, uh, most uh, uh, means kind of a boon rather than uh, anyone getting uh, acquiring the infection and communication with the local and the public health basically many of the people are scared to report their illness because they think if they report they will take them away to some covid center and their life will be destroyed their self image will be destroyed please do not think that if you think you are infected if you are not getting corrected within 3 to 4 days approach your doctor they might call some health facilities or your municipal corporation which might take a swab they can check if the swab is negative then you are harmless if you are asymptomatic they they are going to home quarantine you they are not going to take you away and if you are symptomatic then definitely you need some treatment otherwise you will give that infection to your kid and your other family members so please don't be scared to inform or getting informed by any of the healthcare facility you are doing yourself good and also good to the society and the your family now what is the impact on mental health many of the now throughout the talk i have never uh, given you any clue about the adolescent age group now many of your children are now age group 12 to 13 they are into their teens so these age group people are like small adults you can say they are small adults they do have feeling like you they do have uh, they do suffer from frustration they do suffer from irritation they do have uh, what you say uh, depression they, they, they can be depressed as you are so do not treat them as a child they are not child anymore they are they have already crossed that level and now they are confused they are treated like child but they are behaving like adults so now managing the adolescent is very difficult in this age group the most affected is the mental health so first thing with the isolation contract contact restriction all this economic shutdown there has been a social there has been a psychosocial impact on us also many of us are affected our salaries have been cut down to uh, two third of the salaries then there are uh, many other problems there is no availability of food there are, there are so many restriction you cannot go out to meet your friends your social life life is ruined similarly these children this adolescent age group children are also affected more because even they had their social life may it be different but they had their social life but now they are restricted with the mobile phone so they are continuously spending their time avoiding all uh, your contact because you are at home we as a parent we just boss around them we think they are a child and they are bound to listen to us but we don't encourage and listen to their feelings on what they want to say so during this crisis time uh, can bring it as an opportunity for a personal growth that family uh, to understand each other this is the boon i may say this uh, covid 19 is a boon for us for that family time for bonding there have been many of our family members who are anxious there is lack of contact between us though we stay in the same house but we do not talk to each other there is a re- reduced uh, opportunity for stress regul- uh, regulation here because 
uh, we are so busy with our daily schedule, with our uh, things, we do not ask our child what do they need, what do they want, what they want attention for. So the uh, main uh, threat here is the affecting mental health of your child. There, there could be domestic violence or the child maltreatment. Especially for the children and adolescents with special needs. As special needs, I have said, the children who are with disabilities, uh, dependent and already suffering from any of the neurological problem uh, or with the uh, migrant background, whether they are coming from a smaller uh, population group, which might be uh, treated or a socio a socioeconomically uh, uh, affected children. So uh, to maintain the regular and emergency child and psych adolescent psychiatric treatment, uh, many of the people think that a psychiatric treatment is not uh, is kind of a taboo. But one should understand every person at his uh, in his lifetime can go into depression, can go into psychosis. Now I can give you an example. There is a term by a name fear psychosis. Fear psychosis means it is the something that scares you and it scares you to go you uh, to make you crazy, like. In our house, when we see now, every time we open our television, we get Modi ji there. Uh, corona se ye karo, Corona se wo karo, Corona se ye ho jayega, Corona se tum mar jaoge. You change the channel, the news people said the, this many people died on this Corona thing, and this many people died here. What are the Prashasan doing? What are the doctors doing? What is happening to this? And all these things, all these words are getting absorbed in your child. And once you listen to the news, you produce that news to your colleague on your phone. Like, Are you listening to that you have increased in Maharashtra? Do you think that you have come here in Raigad? Do you think that you have come here in five cases? All these things are actually scaring your kid. They, they do not trust anything outside. They, they are scared to go outside the home. They feel like that if they are not going to wash their hand, they are going to die. So the basic idea is you need not induce this psychosis in your kid. You have to be very gentle. You have to monitor what you watch on the TV. You have to monitor what you talk to your relative. You have to monitor what you are speaking with your spouse. Because all these things are getting absorbed by your kid. And they might uh, uh, present it in any other form. There has been also reported increasing number of uh, suicides or increasing number of child uh, unknown uh, death without any reason because they are scared. They think if they do not wash their hand and eat the food, then they are going to die. If they are going to eat the fruit, the surface is infected with COVID-19 and they are going to acquire COVID-19 infection. So this fear psychosis should be combated. For that, if you need a psychiatric help, please do seek a psychiatric help because during these times, the only the mental health followed by your own physical health is going to help you through the COVID-19 infection. There has been an article in uh, Hindu that was on 13th and 14th of June, which said coronavirus lockdown is taking emotional toll on the children. Where you can see also in the New India Express, there is a mental health expert has opined that the, there is a feeling of loneliness, social isolation in this pandemic time. And this could be the reason behind, in, behind increase in suicides and uh, among child and uh, teen. So what are we pediatricians scared of? First thing, honestly speaking, it's the immunization. Because immunization uh, protect you against those infections. Those uh, can be treated. Like you know that goer, measles, can be treated. So if you immunize the child, then your child won't get that infection. If you're giving pneumococcal vaccine, then there is less chance that your child will develop pneumonia. If you're giving rotavirus infection, uh, uh, rotavirus drops, that means your child is protected against loose motion. So the things that can be prevented are prevented. But during this COVID scare, what parents are doing, they are not doing this primary vaccination. Because of that, COVID-19 to chodo. Wo jab hoga, tab hoga. Uske pehle the child is suffering from other infections. So when the child is suffering from preventable infections, which have not been vaccinated, they, their body become weak and then they acquire COVID-19 infection. So the, as I said earlier also, the immunization is very, very, very important uh, for the primary part. Boosters can wait. 
they can definitely wait but primary now for example uh, your measles chicken pox these are not the diseases of the rainy season measles chicken pox usually occur in summer season so in this rainy season and winter season what are the infection that can acquire one is hepatitis second is your typhoid it has been known cholera is known to occur in rainy season though our children are not going out of the house but the water that is coming to us because there is already limited people working in the every field like may it be your electricity department may it be the irrigation department may it be the water supply department there could be chances of contamination from anywhere that can enter your house it can be through vegetables it can be through the delivery boy who is delivering you vegetable at home though you are not going out but cholera typhoid hepatitis a these are the known infections during the rainy season so you need to take precaution and get vaccination done secondly the flu vaccine the flu vaccine which is available in the market it is quadrivalent it has four uh, organisms cover into it which is your bird flu swine flu and two of the seasonal flu that is victoria and yamagata strain these strains are your common flu means common sardi sardi khasi ka so if you give this vaccine you are protecting your child against these four viruses so during this phase at least your child is protected against flu ideally flu should be taken by all so uh, what i would emphasize take a flu shot typhoid if not done earlier hepatitis a if not given earlier and cholera vaccine uh, to prevent uh, any uh, infections now there is more of a emotional trauma anxiety and post traumatic stress disorder uh, many a times uh, if you do not uh, give uh, the child that attention they are emotionally traumatized you treat them like a child they might suffer from that emotional thing they might not come out of it and that might uh, present in the post traumatic stress like overeating they might show the signs of anxiety overeating social uh, not Uh, getting involved socially not having any liking so you have to be very cautious on to the emotional aspect of your child developmentally uh, developmental uh, impacts could be specially uh, seen in the child because of social distancing because uh, now in our family the small child used to be exposed to their grandparents so they used to talk uh, earlier means some children in a joint family they start speaking from the age of 9 months 1 year one and half year maximum to maximum but the children who are in a uh, isolated means many of us follow a nuclear family trend so there are not much of a word exchange so their language is not developed they are uh, less expressive they might it might develop but it takes uh, some time it, it shows uh, development in a later phase rather than the early phase so the development of the child is definitely affected here there is a vulnerable population with the economic disparity means the socio economic people who stays in uh, uh, slum area and uh, com- getting exposed to uh, covid 19 there have been many other things like school loss and educational disparity now uh, many of the school have adopted online consultation that means online schooling but uh, with this Uh, i don't know how much of the parents are uh, giving that much justice to the child okay if your child is uh, in a more uh, mentally mature means more than 5 years or 6 years of age who can sit in front of the tv and listen to the lecture then uh, then it is some beneficial but children less than 5 year of age they do not have usually that much span to sit in front of the computer and listen to the schooling session but anyhow people are making efforts but because of that the gradually the children are losing interest into the society, uh, the education and after that session is over there is no teaching at home like while when they used to go to school they used to come home with an homework which the parents used to take interest and teach them but now ha chill online khatam ho gaya now done now we have to go our daily shows because bhai nahi hai and we have to work hamara office ka work from home hai so we are in fact ignoring and school education is not just the book education it is more of a developmental education you have it uh, molds your child so uh, this week in, in these times it is difficult to send the child to the school but still what how much we can contribute can uh, help the child here and secondly the child abuse child abuse is not just hitting the child 
child abuse is your verbal abuse the child ask you for attention they come to you for attention ki papa papa mujhe ye karna hai and then you say are nahi you go from here i am on a webinar please please don't disturb me you go so these things happen in your child this is a kind of abuse that causes emotional trauma to your child if your child seeks your attention see papa i have made this and you say ha theek hai ja udhar ja mummy ko bata don't disturb me or if mummy is doing are beta mujhe mat batao i am working i am making food to fir khana kaise hoga tum jao udhar ja ke baitho udhar tv dekhte baitho so these things causes a uh, emotional trauma the child feel they are not uh, entertained so uh, this causes that uh, kind of insecurity and depression in the children so we are scared of all these factors now behavioral management first thing create a nurturing environment at home with your child's daily health visits means if you have a daily health uh, conversation with the doctors you know what uh, precautions and what things you need to take then there is a contingency management system for the child with adhd now when the child is ignored by you they might show the uh, symptoms of being hyper uh, many of the parents say ki mera bachcha bahut hyper hai ek jagah pe baithta hi nahi hai why he does that he does that because he seeks attention agar usne koi bartan niche giraya if he put down the book if he tear the book then he gets an attention so these symptoms of attention deficit are because of the continuous stimulation onto the brain of ignorance because of that the child try to seek attention so you have to be ready you have to give time for that you, you need to seek a pediatrician or a psychologist uh, attention for these things secondly uh, use safe and effective discipline strategy please do not uh, punish uh, Uh, make a habit of punishing your child for everything you have to inculcate this discipline with proper management means it should not be bossing it should be more of a understanding you have to motivate your kids to do the task you can make them do anything may it be a simple job but you have to motivate them you have to dedicate some defined play time with them it is not ke tum ye lo toys lo khelo and now i need to go back to my mobile or my work you need to inculcate and help your child to struggle with the self regulation of the daily task you have to improve the communication skill with aggressive child if a child is getting aggressive talk to him what is the problem what can you do just try to deviate his mind from that aggression and they just smoothly go through this transition if your child is showing temper tantrums you just make him forget what he was doing and involve him into some other activity he'll forget about the aggression that he had take all the precautionary measure that your adolescent do not get abused to the alcohol now alcohol is available on your phone also now it is safe and it is not just alcohol any of the abuse uh, may be from the uh, uh, your mobile phones or may be from alcohol or any drugs Uh, because these children are now restricted they will take some time off they'll go i'll go i'm going down and they might get exposed to some of them uh, uh, means abuses you should understand support and help your child with disabilities see autism is a disease which uh, is not uh, the child's fault attention deficit that hyperactivity is not the child's fault it has it has been uh, some of the neurological factors and some of the behavioral or the social impact on the child so you have to be very understanding and supportive because the child with hyperactivity child with autism can be super stubborn at this time because of that restriction because they have a particular pattern if they do not follow the pattern they go wild they go mad so you have to be very careful with this child now there are six ways of parent uh, parent can support their child through the corona virus uh, disease outbreak this is from the unicef mm-hmm. this data is from the unicef uh, so first thing they said that you need to be calm and proactive secondly you have to stick to your routine thirdly you have to let child feel their emotions you have, you need to talk to the child you need to let the child uh, get off with the emotional uh, discussion thirdly Uh, check with them about what they are hearing because many a times we give our child a mobile phone we don't know what they are getting exposed to thirdly uh, you have to create a warm distraction if your child is getting stubborn please do not punish them and create as i have already said before 
please do not punish them and uh, reinforce something no you have to do it this way please do not do that you can create a bomb and right okay you are you are not interested in that then okay then i won't take the responsibility then i am going to do this job if you are interested if you finish then i'll you can take this job up or we can make a cake together or we can make an ice cream together so you can create a warm distraction rather than punishing them if you are not cleaning your room then go sit in your room i'm not going to show you tv these this way i know you people are frustrated i am frustrated everyone is frustrated because we do not have social life we do not get time for ourselves daily chores of working home domestic work everything but if you keep your calm your child will stay calm if you stay hyper your child will be hyper you need to monitor your own behavior now this is very important before blaming the child one should look at themselves if you are using mobile phone for 8 to 10 hours in a day your child is bound to use mobile phone because he sees into you they are just plate clean slate they will copy everything that you do they are monkeys they are going to copy everything you do if you are spending more time on your mobile phone their kid will spend more time if you more if you are spending more time watching netflix uh, amazon or anything your child will sit in front of the tv and watch all the cartoons and for hours so it is your habit if you change your habit your child will change his habit if you are more into physical exercises if you do any yoga your child will copy you doing yoga if you do some gardening thing your child will copy you into the gardening thing if you do something creative your child will do something creative so before you blame on to your child that you are doing this wrong first you should look what you are doing right in next slide uh, some of the many of the parents have asked me about what are the immune boosting food that we give to the uh, give to a child so overall there is nothing like immune boosting uh, food it is the main complete aharam means it should contain a good quantity of pulses cereals fruits dairy product if uh, non vegetarian you can include meat product then uh, your uh, basically a good quantity of protein carbohydrate and overall and multivitamins now there are few of the uh, elements or few of the vitamins those have an important role in your immune system those are zinc vitamin c iron vitamin e vitamin a and vitamin b6 so maximum of these vitamins are antioxidant they are essential for all the uh, metabolic Uh, reactions that occur in your body it acts as a catalyst if they are there then your body produces good amount of energy they produces good amount of uh, healthy proteins now uh, if you see iron if there is iron deficiency then your child will feel fatigue if the child is fatigued then he is more prone to illness similarly if there is lack of zinc the healing property is uh, reduced there is no proper healing in the body so uh, basically uh, many people ask me what should i give to my child a good combo of multivitamin any multivitamin syrup you can go for kiddy care or any of the syrup uh, it usually uh, increases the metabolic catabolic activity that gives you a good uh, antioxidant effect in your body so your body is more efficient mm. to combat with the uh, infection secondly um, what you can do uh, take good quantity of water a good quality of sleep at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep is essential uh, for the uh, your uh, throughout the day if you have adequate sleep and good quantity of hydration then you can combat any of the viral infection please do not skip any of the work uh, any of the home uh, workout means you can just do uh, surya namaskar is also sufficient or any of the uthak baithak or any uh, crunches if you do that then you'll feel better for the child it is not these much of exercises because they keep roaming around in the house they have something to entertain to themselves but like practicing meditation doing yoga and these things will definitely help the child to combat the infection now as already i have explained the exercises and physical activity here so uh the same uh, thing taking an opportunity to go outdoor but observing the social distancing they can you can take a small walk around the society or uh, on the nearby road where there is less of the people walking around 
so just that 10 minutes of brisk walking or a normal walking followed by brisk walking can give you and your child a good health then your child's uh, routine like cycling is very much of a liking to the children they can cycle around the society so just to get their uh, uh, energy level boosted similarly child's bed time and the rising time should be consistent please do not just delay like chalo aaj late ho raha hai to sone do please do not do that keep a proper timing though their schools before earlier the school used to take care of the sleeping and rising pattern but now the schools are not there but you have to make an habit that the child should be rising early and sleeping early secondly you have to regular the media messages that has been promoting uh, uh, physical activity like online now for on videos also a family in front of the tv they can uh, do all the meditation or the simple exercises so it is more uh, physical health is promoted also children advocating for their right to be healthy that every child has right to be healthy and have an active life during this covid 19 infection do not restrict them too much unless and until you uh, make them follow the uh, social distancing they can go out in the society premises i'm not talking to going out of the uh, to going to the playground to play or football or something but within the society they can go they can have some physical activity so finally the conclusion of the discussion is pursuing the strategy of nurturing resilience uh, in children and adolescent hit by the psychological consequences of the covid-19 epidemic first step is toward the right direction would be to enhance the communication with the children to address their fears as i already told you we have to address their fears playing collaborative games to elevate their loneliness do not make them feel that they have to take that task alone you have to be um, part of the team you have to be working with them uh, to show them how it is done secondly uh, you have to promote physical activity there can be a music session there can be a jamming singing uh, dancing uh, this will reduce the stress and the family that uh, those are uh, spending quality time together are happy families so the the stress the worries the fears they usually go so keep your family as a happy family let there be uh, happiness eating together like small small things eating together no mobile phones while you are watching uh, while while you are eating no television while you are eating because you spend talking time to each other on the dining table you spend time talking to each other when you are in a small chat so uh, you should encourage all those things and pay, parents should also uh, pay attention to the sleeping difficulties the nightmares that the child might face the sleep hygiene and the relaxation method there could be some mind music they can play or even the recitation in our society many of us uh, are trained to pray before going to sleep so just tell them the god is with you and you are going to be feel uh, you you will be secure and safe please do not worry about that we all love you whatever the thing are we are going to uh, we all are going to get through this see some a word of sympathy some word of um, caring can make a big difference in the child not to the us but at least to the child this will reduce their stress and divert their attention toward the more productive and the positive direction so uh, for the conclusion prevention is always advisable especially in those diseases that do not have definitive treatment vaccine or cure now many of you must have been aware the recent studies uh, recent uh, information that many of the countries like uh, including russia and few of the other countries have already uh, done through the phase 4 trial of the vaccine for corona virus but still the efficacy of the virus is only uh, the vaccine is only 50% there is a 50% chance even after you get the vaccine that you might acquire corona virus infection we are hope, hope hopeful like as uh, many of the bodies in the india has claimed that by 15th august you'll you'll be getting a vaccine but i don't think that is practically possible maybe it will take something like november or december that the vaccine will be available for the indian population so even after getting the vaccine for the covid 19 the only thing that is going to help us is social distancing proper use of mask when you are going outdoor use of hand wash sanitizer frequently and limited contact with the people this is going to protect you so 
even after vaccination please don't feel ki uh, you have taken a vaccination uh, vaccine and you are protected it is your habits that you have been doing through this april may june july all these four months are going to help you in the next coming two years this things are going to continue for next one and a half to two years you are going to work from home for the next one and a half to two years the economy is going to be slow during this time the only thing that you can earn you cannot earn something extra money you cannot earn extra uh, pleasure but you can earn extra health you can earn a positive vibes you can earn the family time you can earn the mental health so all these things are in your hand some things are not in your hand so don't care about it so uh, spend good quality time with your kids and this will be very helpful for you thank you <clears throat> so uh raksha can we take the Yes, yes, we will definitely take the question answers. Just a minute for me, please, sir. So actually, since in the start we little delayed and we just uh, jumped into this session, but I just want to uh, introduce properly and inform about you uh, to all our attendees. And we have lots of questions, but I think before that, uh, many questions would come up. Uh, so all the attendees, Dr. Mubashir Khan, he is an MBBS MD Pediatrics. he have done fellowship in neonatology certified with neonatal advanced life support pediatric advanced life support iap ldsc nrpf first golden minute project certified so all the attendees he have his uh, hospital in khargar he is also available online uh, if you have any queries if you want to meet the doctor directly you can go and even he is there on the online consultation app tacto so okay sir so i think uh, if more attendees if you all have any other question any more question please post it for your child for your new for your new needs for your newborn babies so uh, so we'll start with the question sir sure so i'll just uh, yeah. take a look in the uh, this uh, what our suggestion sir sure. i'll i'll read it for you sir i'll read it for you Okay. there's one question um, from sana uh, my child is 12 year old he is nowadays very anxious and frustrated what do i do so i think you have explained it see, i have already told you that your child is 12 year old and the environment in your house is actually creating this fear cycle okay sir so i'll i think there's some technical thing okay is there thank Sorry, you thank you doctor i just, I just yes. uh, got a uh, change okay yes. so uh, because of this fear psychosis the environment at your home is actually creating this thing so now what you have to do you have to talk to your child you have to spend some time see first the effort should be coming from your side to explain to him that coronavirus is nothing to be feared of bachcho ko kuch nahi hota bado ko bhi kuch nahi hota aap haath barabar se dhote ho to aapko kuch nahi hoga If you are maintaining your hygiene, तो आपको कुछ नहीं होगा. Everyone at our home is protecting themselves, तो किसी को कुछ नहीं होगा. आपको सिर्फ बाहर जा रहे हो, तो आप precautions लो. आप आपका cycling करो, आप खेलने को जाओ. आप सब कुछ करो. Don't be scared. We are there for you. If you talk these few words to your kid, that will in fact uh, give a good boost to him. If ये करने के बाद में भी, if your child is not responding, it means you see still that. depression signs of depression you can definitely seek uh, help of a psychologist many of the psychologists are available in the new bombay region so you can meet any of those or arrange a uh, tele consultation uh, because now, now meeting in a group is not possible the group therapy is not possible but one to one consultation can be done with a psychologist who can just ease out these worries from your child secondly just make him feel comfortable that is the most important thing stop if you want to listen to your news you listen on your mobile phone please do not uh, make it more uh, uh, in front of your kid because all these things are creating a negative impact on their uh, safety they are not feeling secure even at home they feel they might acquire infection and finally we are speaking the words like you are going to die everyone is dying because of coronavirus the word die scares the shit out of them so 
be uh, very justified when you talk to your child or whatever you uh, talk in front of your child i think that will help your child just try and do that and it is not just in one day that it is going to uh, make a difference you have to continue to do it for two to three days or frequently tell them and assuring them that nothing is going to be uh, nothing is going to happen to you and everything is going to be fine correct thank you doctor so uh, there is another question from dr pratibha jad sorry pratibha jad can corona virus transmit through aerial way aerial way so uh, usually corona is a viral infection it might go through the air but uh, as we have known even in the medical faculty when we are using mask uh, the life span of the virus on any of the surface may it be on the mask or maybe on the table it is uh, not more than 25 or uh, 24 hours to 48 hours maximum up to 48 hours that virus will survive on that surface because that virus do require some mucosa to live on or to grow on so if the surface or if any of the door handle if they are not touched for 48 hours then uh, on their own it turn to be sterile means of the corona infection the other infection might be there so it is not aerial but it is airborne transmission if someone sneezes it spreads into the environment if it is a closed room if i sneeze so it is suspended in the air particles so if someone walk in that particles might be taken in uh, through their nostril and that might deposit in their mucosa causing the symptoms of coronavirus but even after exposure to a covid 19 i would say it is the amount of virus that has entered your body determines the disease thoda sa hai आप असिम्टोमेटिक रहोगे यू वोट बी हैविंग एनी मेजर साइंस ऑफ सिम्टम्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रक्षा हेलो ओके आई विल टेक दिस क्वेश्चन बाय ऑन टेस्ट प्रशांत गायकवाड़ माई चाइल्ड इज गेट्स वेरी एंशियस for wearing mask how do i make him do that his age is 8 years of age so usually uh, if a child is not comfortable wearing a mask first you have to be uh, smarter than them what you can do you can make them wear a mask uh, of their own choice like if uh, that 8 year old child of yours is a fan of uh, what you say captain america get him a mask with the captain america uh, pattern or design over it you can also give him uh, any of the like if if she is a girl then you can give a barbie or you can help them decorate their own mask the cloth mask they can decorate it themselves so they can if they prepare it then they'll feel comfortable to wear it so this is how you can make uh, them feel uh, better about use of mask uh Sauri here says, "My child has severe sneezing. Generally, what medicine shall I give? Uh, see, first you have to understand what is the sneezing because of. Whether it is because of uh, allergy, many of the children do have allergic rhinitis. Means it is because of allergy that they might have uh, sneezing. So it could be because of allergy that she might be having sneezing. If have, if she has been having this from a long time, then it could be allergic. But if it is recent." then it could be some minor uh, viral infection but not always corona virus infection for medicine point of view there is no need to give any of the medicine if it is just sneezing but if it is proper runny nose your child is having fever the child there is redness in the eyes then you might uh, consult a physician regarding giving antihistaminic or paracetamol or any other medication next the manisha is asking i am planning to give multivitamin to my daughter is it okay to give in this pandemic situation yes as i have already told you that uh, these multivitamins or the micro elements i am not saying only vitamins the micro element like zinc iron selenium chromium these minerals act as a catalyst for your body's uh, what you say metabolic reactions that might induce and uh, help with the immunity uh, building up so definitely there are many multivitamins available with the market you can take any of those uh, uh, uh if your child is like somewhere around uh, uh, less than 5 years of age you can give 5 ml twice a day or once a day once a day is also sufficient and continue to give up to 3 months because over 3 months these minerals will get 
stored in your body in your liver which can be used over the air to help uh, process the metabolic requirement so whenever you start a multivitamin continue to give for the period of 3 months many people have tendency to give a uh, small small bolus for 15 days now and then after 2 3 months 15 days but i would uh, usually recommend to give it for the continuous period of 3 months because that will help these vitamin to get stores these uh, antioxidants these elements to store in your body and uh, help you through the process for the next remaining year the next yes, question okay. is from the jazz. Next, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah i'll do it i'll do it Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, it. It would be very easy. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. To me. So, no, what no, type no, of no, a diet uh, will you advise to the child to keep them healthy and mentally strong? So, am I audible? Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, what type kind of diet yes. will be advised for the child to keep them healthy and mentally strong? See, there is no definitive uh, diet uh, or uh, any. medicine to keep your child uh, uh, strong it is the kind of food it is the proportion of the food that you consume may it be pulses may it be carbohydrates protein whatever you consume it should be in a proper pro- proportion means the uh, one third of it should be protein less than one third should be fats it should contain a good quantity of carbohydrates mm-hmm. a good quantity of multivitamins a good quantity of fibers this a complete aharam will help you boost and go through the immune process otherwise there is no other medication see in this lockdown period we are resorting more to a fat based diet now ghar pe har ek ke burger banta hai fries bante hai patties bante hai so rather than more carbohydrate we are consuming more of the fat and this fat we are not actually burning we are staying at home and this is accumulating on to our body so uh, only we are resorting only to one kind of uh, diet so it should contain all it should contain a good quantity of celery it should contain a good quantity of vegetables definitely this overall will help child to uh, go through the diet i mean uh, build up the immunity but no specific diet as such you will get many things on the youtube you everything you can try everything there is no restriction unless and until it harms your body secondly uh, lovelyn singh is asking is it is it heavy meal eating is making them more anxious see uh, it's not the anxious it's the depression that make people eat more so you should talk to your child it's not heavy eating it your child is eating more because your child is uh, many of the time the psychologists say uh, overeating or binging is a sign of anxiety or sign of uh, depression the child is already depressed or anxious you are not talking to your child your child do not feel secure the only thing he feel if he take food in he'll sleep and he'll be comfortable he has no other tension so then that's why they binge eat so if you think uh, there is an association give some time and talk to your child what scares them what are they going through if even if you don't speak a word let them speak something so that uh, they will feel comfortable about it so shubhangi divekar here how do i prepare my child in case of covid 19 outbreak in our community uh, shubhangi i think i must have answered all of this like first thing do not restrict them completely you can tell them you trust them if they wash their hands you trust them if they are using sanitizer you trust them you know your child uh, make them feel that you trust them on all the aspect you are going to follow social distancing you are going to maintain distance while playing with your kids with other kids you are going to be uh, more uh, self cautious uh, in your physical health physical diet so assuring your child that everything is going to be fine will make them prepare for the covid 19 please do not scare them haath nahi dhoya na to aisa ho jayega wo nahi kiya to aisa ho jayega please do not use this term you have to be very polite that i know you are smart fellow and you have to do washing and you are good at it so uh, i appreciate that you are washing your hands bahar bhi jaake aapko yahi sare precautions lene hain uh pratibha jadhav here ask me what can we do to keep our child from stress as i told you first thing talk to them second thing reduce the screen time we our kids are spending more time in front of the television in front of the mobile phone uh this causes mostly uh lack of communication if there there is lack of communication 
that will uh, cause more uh, uncertainty the kids are not sure whether they should be talking to their parents or not doing a physical exercise any meditation or yoga or any of the thing can make them feel comfortable so physical exercises and a good diet see in diet also i am saying you should keep a variety it should not be a routine ki subah dal chawal shaam mein ye khaya ye khaya ho gaya you should keep a, a variety you can involve your kid kid okay now you, you do one thing you give me a carrot you cut scrape or cut and give me the carrot we'll make this pizza or we are going to do this you help me with this so involving your ch- child in your activity will actually help them uh, be more open to you that will in fact reduce the stress secondly one share says appetite have decreased uh, of child in lockdown and we feel there there is there is weakness okay uh, if your child's appetite see it's not always the overeating it's also the reduce in appetite uh, because your child ka interest is gone now abhi usko ghar mein man nahi lagta he wants to meet the friend his friends he wants to uh, feel uh, what it feels like going out bahar mein kya kar sakte hain to bahut sari cheeze bahut sari anxiety bacche ko hoti hai and because of that the child has become lethargic he don't want to do anything he has lost interest in it, uh, interest in everything so uh, first thing what you can do is give him ample of water most important jo hamara fatigue hota hai tiredness hota hai weakness hota hai uske liye the treatment is water sabse pehle give him ample of water the water will reduce, uh, remove all the toxins from your body and your body will be rejuvenated secondly you can give him a good 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 support of multivitamin also you have to see ki aapka bachcha pale lag raha hai kya matlab haath pair safed hai aankhe ke niche safed ho raha hai that means ki bachche ke body mein iron kam hai agar iron kam hai to bachche ka jo khurak hai means appetite hai that will reduce if appetite is reduced to bachche ka phir weakness aayega so you have to look for these major factors but if you give multivitamin and other thing this will rejuvenate the body and baby will feel uh, your kid will feel uh, better uh next is anjali here she asked me i have started giving my child oats recently and he is having constipation shall i stop say oats are good in fibers oats do not cause constipation the thing you are giving with oats that is could be milk can cause constipation so oat is good in fiber it do not cause constipation and definition is of constipation is if your child is not passing motion for more than 3 days is constipation if less than 3 days means alternate day your child is passing that is fine if your child is not passing motion for more than 3 days then only it is called as constipation and that is not only uh, one instance it is the multiple time uh, in a month that he is facing such kind of problem so uh, then only it is constipation reduce the quantity of milk intake i'm not saying uh, ideally a healthy child uh, more than 2 years of age should be receiving less than 300 ml of milk because maximum of his or her nutrition will be coming from the other dietary food that we eat the vegetables the proteins the other thing that we eat rather than the milk many of us continue to give milk 500 ml in the morning and 500 ml in the evening so ek liter doodh piyega to bachche ko constipation hoga hi so restrict it to less than half a liter and gradually come down to 300 ml of it uh one here ask in this pandemic i am planning to give my child multivitamin is, is it okay to give vitamin d and c uh role play in these condition how vitamin d and c see vitamin d is a overall factor for both your neurologically it helps your brain uh means uh, there are few of the chemical that is released released from the brain so it acts as a catalyst there vitamin c in fact is a very important here it has a uh, property to rejuvenate your body it has a property to remove all the toxins vitamin c is your acid it's a citric acid so basically this acid removes all the toxins from your body it gives you a fresh energy like jaise aap bahar se aate ho uh, in a from a hot sun and then you drink a nimbu pani you feel better why because that citrus has a uh, removed all the toxins from your body all aapka muscle ka jo fatigue hota hai aapke body ka jo pain hota hai wo sab chala jata hai you feel like a new energy going into your body 
सो विटामिन सी हैज दैट एडवांटेज सिमिलरली विटामिन सी इज एन एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट तो कंज्यूमिंग डेली विटामिन सी इज एसेंशियल एंड विल हेल्प सपोर्टिंग योर इम्यूनिटी यू कैन गिव एनी ऑफ द मल्टी विटामिन मेनी ऑफ दम आर अवेलेबल you can give multi vitamin but the only thing is you have to make sure if child is less than uh, uh, what your 5 years of age give him 5 ml once a day if more than 5 years of age give them 10 ml once a day once a day dose is sufficient thoda sa bitter rahega because of vitamin b thoda kadwa pan rehta hai but that is well masked with uh, different flavors those they, uh, those are added to this some some have pineapple flavor some have orange flavor but it's it's the acceptability तो पांच साल के ऊपर का बच्चा तो कुछ भी पी लेगा पांच साल के नीचे वालों का थोड़ा सा ये रहता है तो यू कैन गिव समथिंग दैट हैज फ्लेवर एडेड टू इट एंड विटामिन सी इज अ वेरी गुड थिंग इवन यू गेट अ विटामिन सी लोजेंजेस सो थ्रू आउट द डे मींस वंस और ट्वाइस इन अ डे दे कैन कीप टेकिंग दोज विटामिन सी इवन यू कैन टेक दिस विटामिन सी नाउ संग्राम आस्मी आई हैव टू गिव वैक्सीन टू माय 2 ईयर ओल्ड बेबी आई एम स्केयर टू गो आउट शैल आई डिले सी 2 ईयर वैक्सीनेशन जो आपका आता है That is is uh, your uh, typhoid ka ya booster aega, ya it is meningococcal vaccine or any of your vaccine that is pending. So these vaccines are not an emergency. Typhoid ka yes you can give. Agar pehle nahi diya hai. Agar pehle diya hai to you can delay this. Meningococcal आपका बच्चा बाहर जा ही नहीं रहा है तो उसको meningococcal infection नहीं होगा अगर flu का shot बाकी है तो you can go and give flu का shot. because flu ka shot is essential to cover for the other viral infection so you can give these vaccination go if you are going go to your pediatrician who who do not have multi specialty either it could be an isolated uh, clinic or it could be mother and child care because these people are least exposed baki jo sab jagah pe jahan pe adult hota hai bada bada hospital hai wahan pe exposure ka chances bhi bad jata hai so take your call and accordingly decide But if it is some essential message, if two or agar hai, agar apka check your immunization book, whether it is your influenza vaccine and your typhoid vaccine, if essential, to de do. Menectra, jo meningococcal vaccine hai ya dusra kuch vaccine hai, can wait. Absolutely no harm. Pratibha here asked me if my child have symptom of sneezing, coughing, fever, and symptom generally come in rainy season every year. How do I distinguish between corona and regular viral infection? कोरोना वायरस का एक ही है कि आपको ब्रेथलेसनेस जाएगा कोरोना वायरस इज नथिंग डिफरेंट इट इज सेम एज एनी ऑफ द वायरल इन्फेक्शन आपको फ्लू हुआ वैसे ही कोरोना वायरस होता है देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन कोरोना वायरस इन्फेक्शन एंड फ्लू इन्फेक्शन आंखें रेड हो जाएगा नाक बहेगा खांसी आएगा फीवर आएगा फीवर विल बी हंड्रेड एंड वन हंड्रेड एंड टू तक के जाएगा इट विल स्टे फॉर फाइव टू सेवन डेज फीवर रहेगा आपका सर्दी डे थ्री डे फोर पे शुरू होगा वो कंटिन्यू होगा सात आठ दिन तक के उसके बाद में सर्दी खांसी का सिम्टम्स कम हो जाएगा बच्चा विल बी फाइन थोड़ा सा उसका एपिटाइट कम होगा या थोड़ा लूज मोशन हो सकता है ग्रीनिश कलर का पॉटी होगा उसके बाद में दस दिन हो गया पंद्रह दिन हो गया बेबी विल बी फाइन सिमिलर आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ कोरोना वायरस इन द पर्सन ऑल्सो नाउ वंस अ वायरल इन्फेक्शन कम्स इन द हाउस इट विल अफेक्ट एवरी अगर आपके बच्चे को सर्दी खांसी हुआ मम्मी को होगा उसके भाई को होगा बहन को होगा उसके डैडी को होगा घर में दादा दादी नाना नानी इनको सबको होने वाला है बिकॉज वायरल हैव अ टेंडेंसी टू स्प्रेड थ्रू द एयरबोन इन्फेक्शन तो वो बच्चा सबको देगा इन्फेक्शन बट नॉट ऑल इन्फेक्शन इज कोविड नाइन्टीन आप कोई घर के बाहर नहीं जा रहे हो कि इन्फेक्शन आएगा आपका बच्चा घर के बाहर नहीं जा रहा है कि कोई इन्फेक्शन लेकर आएगा सो इट इज द सर्फेसिस ऑफ द होम जिसके ऊपर ये फ्लू वायरस रहता है जो उसको लगा होगा so be optimistic kaisa the only time you can differentiate is breathlessness bacche ko saans lene mein takleef ho raha hai matlab bahut aisa hunger ho raha hai ab ye bacche ke samne mat bolo itro saans lene mein takleef ho raha hai then he'll do <sighs> because the more you tell your child they are scared and they might manifest it so what you have to see ki agar aapke bacche ka jo shwas hai ya chhati jo hai it should not be uh, taking more than 60 breath in a minute अगर 60 ब्रेथ से ज्यादा बार ले रहा है दैट मीन्स चाइल्ड इज हैविंग एयर हंगर उसको हवा चाहिए अंदर दैट मीन्स द लंग इज अफेक्टेड अगर नहीं है तो कोई सिम्टम नहीं है आपके बच्चे को सर्दी जुकाम है गिव एनी ऑफ द एंटी हिस्टेमिक पुट नेजल ड्रॉप्स सलाइन नेजल ड्रॉप्स डालो नेजल सिक्रेशन क्लियर करो फीवर है फीवर का मेडिसिन दे दो पैरासिटामोल दैट्स इट ठीक है सो नेक्स्ट शुभांगी दिवेकर हियर आस्मी वॉट कैन आई डू 
when my child feel restlessness after studying for two or more hours acha <laughs> this is not uh, see if a child feel restless for studying for more than two hours uh, this is actually a behavioral thing first thing no one can uh, uh, be attentive for more than 45 minutes abhi in my presentation also while while i am speaking aap mere presentation ko 45 minutes se zyada concentration ke sath sun nahi sakte uske baad mein aapka ya to interest jayega ya to fir aapka dhyan kahin aur bad jayega because we human tendency is to pay attention maximum up to 45 minutes so isliye aap dekhoge school mein bhi jo uh, interval jo periods hote hain that is either 30 minutes or 45 minutes not more than that because the attention फिर उसमें लैक हो जाता है फिर उसके बाद में आप कुछ भी बोलते जाओ वो दिमाग में रजिस्टर नहीं होता सो दैट इज नॉट रेस्टलेसनेस दैट शी इज हैविंग सेकेंडली जो घर पे से बैठ के पढ़ते हैं दे आर नॉट इन अ कंफर्टेबल पोजीशन। सी इन स्कूल दे हैव टू सेट ऑन डेस्क एंड टेबल सो दे आर वेरी दे आर यूज टू दैट घर पे क्या हम ऐसे स्क्रीन के सामने ऐसा करके बच्चा पीछे लेटा रहता है चड्डी वड्डी पहन के आराम से ऐसे सुनता है टीचर बोलती है सब हो जाता है The thing is, they are not in a comfortable position. Or, फिर उनको बाद में फिर they feel बेचैनी. फिर वो friends का कोई अगर multiple windows है तो friends दिखते हैं. तो they feel like यार friends से मिलना नहीं हुआ. Teacher से कुछ discuss नहीं किया. These things make them restless. So just rule out what are the things that make your child restless. Uh, but continuous दो घंटे किसी को भी मत पढ़ा. Ask ask the child to study for 35 35 minutes. थोड़ा सा उसका घूमो फिरो खेलो या कुछ तुमको टाइम पास करना है करो देन कम बैक अगेन एंड स्टडी मनीषा हियर आस्क मी एवरीवेयर देयर इज अ हाइप ऑफ मल्टीविटामिन हाउसिंग विटामिन सी विटामिन डी इज हेल्पफुल अगेंस्ट कोविड 19 आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू वैसे भी आप गूगल करो आप यूट्यूब पे देखो आपको यही सारी चीजें बताई जाएगी जिंक से इट्स गुड फॉर द Uh, what you say regeneration of the cells so aapke track ke cells hote hain jo harm ho jate hain because of covid 19 or any other infection it is replaced vitamin c acts as a uh, antioxidant vitamin d is essential for the neuro protection it is essential for the bone bone and growth development your overall well being is dependent on vitamin d to yahi sari cheeze hai there is nothing new but consumption on a adult basis on a pediatric basis will definitely it is not going to harm you aapko harm to nahi karega but you have to be sure that you do not take overdose of any of those vitamin c aap the jo jo pani se dissolve hote hai jaise vitamin b vitamin c ye susu se nikal jata hai bahar excess ho gaya to but vitamin a ka excess vitamin e ka excess vitamin d ka excess nahi lena chahiye otherwise you will have uh, symptoms like nausea vomiting ulti jula ये सब लगेंगे बिकॉज ये एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट अगर ज्यादा मात्रा में आप लोगे तो इट इज नॉट डूइंग ऑलवेज से कि इफ यू वांट टू गिव यू टेक दिस मेडिकेशन फॉर yes doctor uh sir you are not audible right now okay so all the attendees i think there's some uh, network connection uh, issue re- uh, with doctor so can we just wait for uh, one minute i i believe he'll be back
Am I audible now? Yes, Rakshan. yes, Rakhi. Uh, sorry, I'm extremely sorry. थोड़ा सा internet connection there is an issue, but uh, let's go back to the questions. So, uh, as there is a hype in the society, you say vitamin D, vitamin C. Take a limited use. Take it for the duration of three months, four months, and that will be stored in your body and will help you go through uh, all the uh, means metabolic processes will be eased out uh, for the period of one year. Then uh, Rani here asked me, my child have frequent urine problem. Please give some advice. First thing, what is a urine problem? I am I am not getting any idea of urine problem. Whether the baby is passing urine frequently, whether the baby is having pain in the urine area, whether the baby is having vomiting, fever, associated or not. First thing, your child is a girl child, right? So the most probable cause could be urine infection. So what you can do, you can consult your pediatrician, get the urine routine test done. once you are done we can see whether there is any bacteria or any yeast infection in it if there is some particular infection in it then we can give uh, antibiotic and some alkalinizing agent i wouldn't uh, recommend any antibiotic on this webinar because i don't know the clinical condition of your child it first i need to see the child i need to know the symptoms then only i can prescribe so if you have any other pediatrician who is already who you are already cons uh, consulting you can talk to them on to the video consultation and uh, uh, get the at least basic report urine report you can do it it won't be causing any harm to your child and any urine sample will do it is not the early morning that you need to take any of the routine sample you uh, process uh, get it processed if it shows a maximum number of blood cells or a bacteria then only we'll give some antibiotic to your child secondly questions from krishna mistri a uh, very good informative webinar regarding child health my child is 8 year old now not showing interest to do study nowadays as before covid 19 please suggest now see your child has been uh, having a totally different environment previously when he was on the uh, uh, in the school then he had to work there he had no option but to work uh, and do the homework there previously he had no option now घर पे ही नोज देर इज मम्मी इज ऑल्सो रिलैक्स चेल देर इज नो हार्ड एंड फास्ट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू फेल सो योर चाइल्ड इज स्लाइटली लूजिंग इंटरेस्ट इन द स्टडी सो वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन मेक इट मोर मोर इंटरक्टिव स्कूल टीचर्स आर पुटिंग एफर्ट्स दे आर पुटिंग देयर एफर्ट्स टू मेक इट मोर इंटरक्टिव इफ दे आर टेकिंग सम ऑफ द लेसन इन हिस्ट्री दे आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अ पिक्चर इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम बट वॉट यू एज अ पेरेंट कैन डू if they are, if your child has learned a specific topic like may it be the tundra region of uh, ge geography or may it be some battle of 1947 in the history you can reprocreate that battle you can just uh, give them a piece of paper you can say okay, here are the uh, britishers here are the indians and then they had a fight make it more attractive more interactive or if they have some small figures then you can say this person is from india this person is from this side and they were fighting britishers and these were fighting and finally this person both so make it more interactive i don't know maths is very difficult to make <laughs> interactive but uh, you can uh, encourage them with that otherwise uh, you have got a uh, many tap uh, tab applications or uh, any mobile applications where the they actually uh, uh, maths is made simple in a fun way uh it is difficult to do on paper because then it comes to teaching but there are many different fun ways different apps available but limit that time i'm saying again agar aap uske upar tap ke upar bhi padha rahe ho to limit karo if you want to show show them on the television that how the battle of this happened and what happened to panipat on youtube you are going to get n number of the videos and informative thing preferably uh which is carrying a more of a positive message the message that is coming from the video please show them that those videos do not show show them anything extreme like more of a hinduism video or more of a muslimism video means islamic video or more of this because uh, this is going to nurture your child's overall uh, what you say acceptance toward the society so whenever you want to share, show something like india pakistan do not show it as a hindu or muslim thing show it more of a two countries two nations with disagreement uh many a times uh, uh, it is like goes to the extreme levels we we uh, unknowingly 
we are very cautious parents but unknowingly we speak these terms out and this create an impact on your child this is one aspect of it similarly aapke jo baki ke topics hai algebra geometry there have been many other uh, sites applications jiske upar aap ye sab kar sakte ho to keep them involved in an interactive way then he'll like studying uh, okay this is done if my kid is infected with covid uh, what first step should we take simple first assure him nothing is going to happen the most important thing is assure him nothing is going to happen secondly if you think or if you know your child is affected how will you know you have to get the swab test done the swab test pcr will give whether it is positive or negative if it is positive then you have to assure him nothing is going to happen sab ka hota hai kuch nahi hota hai give him a mask isolate him from the other people at home ya fir ghar pe bhi baat kar raha hai kisi se to ye see now mother and child cannot be separated father can stay in other room but mother ko aana jana padta hai to mother can take extra precaution ki khud pehen ke uske paas jaye jo plate wagaira hai jisme wo khana kha raha hai those should be kept differently or washed differently his clothes should be washed differently his uh, do not feel him isolate make make him feel that he is isolated in the room you can make him feel comfortable if you are having a family time you can make him sit along with you uh, but with some distance and you can say it it will you will be fine you need not worry about it so all these things can be done with the kid and agar one person in the house come positive then there is almost 90% chance that all will be affected so you assure him That हम सबको देख अपन सब अंदर बैठे हैं हम सबको हुआ है सो वाई वाई डू यू वरी वी आर ऑल हियर वी आर नॉट सेंडिंग यू एनी वेयर एंड आइसोलेटेड चाइल्ड को कभी नहीं होता अगर वो बाहर जाके एक्वायर करके भी आता है एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू हिल ट्रांसमिट दैट इन्फेक्शन टू एनी ऑफ द एडल्ट और एनी वन इन द फैमिली फॉर श्योर तो एवरी वन इन द फैमिली विल बी अफेक्टेड यू इन्फॉर्म द लोकल पब्लिक हेल्थ केयर सर्विस वो आपको होम क्वारंटीन करेंगे आपका नेबर्स आपको खाना लाके देगा आपको खाना बनाने का टेंशन नहीं रहेगा यू विल गेट ऑल द थिंग्स डिलीवर्ड एट होम सो दैट विल बी द लाइफ एंड प्लीज डोंट वरी ओनली आपको कब वरी करना है इफ देर इज ब्रेथलेसनेस इफ यू थिंक बहुत सांस लेने में तकलीफ हो रहा है देन यू हैव टू टेक द चाइल्ड टू द हॉस्पिटल और इन्फॉर्म द कोविड और म्यूनिसिपल फैसिलिटीज हुर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द कोविड नाइनटीन आई हैव लॉस्ट Reen Raksha, can you uh, let me know the another question if any? No, sir. I think we have reached the end of the session. Uh, there are no much sure. um, any more question. So okay. thank you so much. I think we have answered all the question. Thank you for addressing all the question and mm-hmm. giving your precious time to all of us. Thank you so sure. much. And all the listeners, if you have any more query to the doctors for the doctors and. Uh, to all of you who will get such a kind and humble and <laughs> doctor a pediatric doctor i think even kids will love you to you know get a check up from you obviously the doctor is not giving you the injection but the advice with the medicine <laughs> so yeah thank you so hey, much sir even even i'll recommend please stay home please do yeah. not come out of your homes unnecessarily and especially for the kids many of the you have asked for the vaccination only the essential vaccination please come out do not call anyone at your home to give the vaccine now many of the hospital have started the trend to send a person to their home and get vaccinated it is not emergency unless and until it is essential or primary vaccination please do not let anyone into your house or go somewhere to get the vaccination primary is essential that's it thank you correct correct thank you so much doctor so it was indeed our honor our mayor's honor to share the platform with you so thank you all over the listeners for attending the webinar thank you st joseph school kalamboli for giving us the opportunity to collaborate with you all thank you dr khan for to having the collaboration and giving your consent to join the, with all of us sure. so thank you so much i wish everybody please stay safe and stay healthy and wishing you doctor the same thank, thank you so you. much Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Yes.